I guess the one thing that I enjoy most about Irish music is a complete absence of moderation. The Irish musician usually seems to be so full of passion and feeling, especially when he's singing about Ireland. The sad songs are heartbreakingly sad. The fighting songs are fierce to say the least. The love songs are sweet and tender. The drinking songs are robust and full of life. And the comic songs show a love of poking fun at themselves and a complete irreverence for almost everything. The Irish have dedicated hundreds of years to fighting and hating the English. But most of the revolutionary songs stem from two wars, the Wolf Tone Rebellion in 1790 and the war following the Easter Rebellion in 1916, which is still referred to by the Irish as the unpleasantness. Even now, they sing and talk about a 200-year-old battle with such fervor and feeling you'd think that it happened yesterday. I developed a strong interest in my Irish roots after my uncle traced our family from my great-great-grandfather Thomas Connolly to our kin in Ireland. My ancestor at the age of 14 stowed away on a ship to America after English soldiers took his horse for taxes. At sea, he was discovered and made to work for his keep. He was supposed to be carried back to County Antrim in Ireland, but he jumped overboard at Savannah Harbor and swam to his future home in America. Now, this was in the 1830s. He married in Georgia and moved to northwest Louisiana and become a successful farmer. Even though he could have afforded to have slaves, as most of his neighbors did, he always refused to do so because of his bitter resentment of English domination, which he considered to be slavery. About 15 years ago, I met two Irish nuns who taught me some Irish songs, and after a trip to Ireland, they sent me several Irish records. From this point on, I gathered all the songs and records that I could buy, bar, and steal, and then I began a love affair with Ireland that still remains with me. Apparently, my son Bill Jr. fell under the same spell with the old sod as he enjoys the Irish music as much as I. We both play in a bluegrass band, and we find a strong similarity between the two forms of music. If you like one, you usually would like the other. This next song, The Butcher Boy, is my favorite ballad, and by all accounts, it must be over 200 years old. I am so very intellectual I have brains that I've never used As a matter of fact I run on the fast track So if I boast May I be excused I try to practice humility But there is one big conflict because of my superior mentality I am so smart I make myself sick When it comes to genius I excel in it I write oriental verse Just for the hell of it I compose music classics Just for kicks I am so smart I make myself sick I would like to be like the other guys Plain, simple, and modest throughout But somehow I feel that's not a big deal They've got so much to be modest about I am so grateful for heredity It will always prove out as a rule I can hold up my brilliant head with dignity Because I swim in a great gene pool When it comes to genius, I excel in it I write oriental verse just for the hell of it I compose music classics just for kicks I am so smart, I make myself sick don't hate me if I am brilliant It just seems to go with the job My only regret is that the smarter I get I'm sometimes accused of being a snob I wish I could show all the wannabes That I am the same as they are 
Except for my reticence and modesty And an IQ score right off of the chart When it comes to genius, I excel in it I write oriental verse just for the hell of it I compose music classics just for kicks I am so smart, I make myself sick 